this is me and I'm going to just focus right now on this because this is this is my vision board and this um you know it kind of tells you uh how I could allow the reality of well this isn't up here yet you know and or this isn't up here yet or whatever this isn't here yet you know it's like it ego doesn't take into accountability into account what I have accomplished what I am doing it sees only like all the little pieces that aren't yet in place and and says well you're not perfect enough you're not good enough but see what is my responsibility is to claim who I am I am Kate the Great because I am the child of the great I am that's my affirmation okay it's not just in myself in my ego that makes me great my ego is a counterpart of my character. It has a place and is perfect and is made perfect within me by this understanding. And I have to affirm this because it's my continuum. It's eternal. All that God is, I am just on a smaller plane or on this plane, you know, and it's, it's, it's all good. I don't need to like hyper accentuate on it right now in order for me just to keep it simple is really important for me because I'm, as you can see, my, my house looks like this. All right. And when our house looks like this, it says there's still some kind of something going on. Now here's the thing. Um, it is very possible that, you know, part of my, my creative mess is that I'm focusing on other things that are more important. What What's important to me? I see myself I'm putting this mirror on the wall. You know, it's like, what's keeping me from putting it on the wall? Well, I'll tell you what's put, what's been putting me off is this isn't really solid. So I need to actually get a device to really hold this because this is really solid. This is really heavy, okay? And if I try to put this heavy mirror on this wall that doesn't have like a center stud that I can like hammer it on, it's going to rip through that wall and that mirror very well could either be broken or it could cause more damage because it's so like heavy. And unlike this mirror here, you can see that I click mirrors because I don't know, I have a thing about mirrors as an, an understanding that there's a direction that you don't have mirrors hitting each other. Um, there's something about that. I have a mirror even, all right. So I have that I love you like crazy over here and I have a mirror on this side that reflects on that. So that's a thing. And yeah, um, it, as you can see, there's a mirror there. So as soon as I get up, I'm able to make a conscious decision to claim who I am. And that is, you know, that I am clothed in strength and dignity and I laugh without fear of the future. It's like I laugh at the days to come. I have my prayer flag across my bed. Um, you know, I, I prefer it to be out on my deck, but you know, Obviously, I have other projects that are more important. I did finish painting in here, so it looks much better than it had before. However, now we have all the other remnants that need to find a home within my home or move out because I'm uh, part of my, uh, part of the new me is, is order, okay? And though it may not look like it quite yet, my life is working into order. Um, I This is where you, you can't, you know, the ego wants to look at the external and go, oh, but this and this and this. But the spirit looks always at what ha is, not what was. This is, these are, prim these are all like part of 
the was in my life and I'm sorting them out to figure, okay, there's certain places that still need to be filled and making, it's kind of like how to make a quilt, you know, the pieces that you keep and the place that you put them actually create a piece of art. And if you can envision it in your mind, you can have it. And that's part of what I'm doing here, really, um, because this painting here, as nice as it, it, as it, as it may be, I, I actually got to actually, let me tell you about this picture here. So this picture I found leaning up against the dumpster in my apartment complex. And I was like, no way. This frame is like for real. And let me assure you, it's solid. And this is a, a real painting, okay? It's a real canvas with real uh, either oil or acrylic. I'm, I'm thinking oil. Um, and so, I mean, the picture is nice and all, but it isn't like, it doesn't like, whew, you know? And this is a dream. This is an affirmation. So this needs, going, this needs to be my vision board. And so what I have done is I have screenshot a bunch of pictures and you can see there's one here and there's one here, but they're part of my favorite things. And so what I'm doing, excuse me, I'm actually working on over here. I am um, creating this vision board, right? And of me, of my life and, and placing it up here and, and actually getting my other, which is, um, this this affirmation across here. Now this I was thinking of putting up here um, just because, but it is high and it's likely that it would just be looked at as a piece of art if I, if I put it up there. So, no time like the present, allowing the inspiration of the spirit within me to you know, start putting this together. And um, then that's one piece. And then actually putting to see that's Felfkin right there. Felfkin is one of the main characters in my book, The Cricket and the Butterfly, which has been a story in progress for probably as long as I've been alive. I just wasn't aware of it. And So this whole project, okay, my entire house, I've painted every room in my apartment, okay? Every room in my apartment I have, I have painted, even my bathroom, as you can see. It was white before, and I even painted the white whiter, okay? Um, and I'm going to repaint my kitchen because now it's not speaking to me as much because of the, all these blues, it needs a red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it, but that's good. But that's after this gets done. There's always going to be a project. I have to remind myself, you know, that there's always gonna be another project. Wherever I am sowing my creative juices, it's what's going to produce fruit. And my reasoning of getting my house like this is because it's like getting my mind in order, getting my heart in order, getting my foundation, my my surroundings in order because I have, I have a story to write. And, <laughs> you know, of all the, the books that I've accumulated, you have no idea. I have so many more. Um, they're like all over the place, these books, you know, philosophy, mostly, uh, self-improvement, um, um, learning words and sacred ancient information. <laughs> um, here's the thing is that as I look at these things that I've collected, my little treasures, right? That's what they are. They're little treasures. And here's another affirmation board of mine. And I really like this one a lot because it speaks to me in like, I just, 
I feel so humble when I look at this and when I recognize that the I am is God's spirit within me. That is Christos. That is the Christ. That is the consciousness. That is the understanding that we are connected. And it's like, you know, it's amazing. And it, and it's wise. That's what this, this hawk right here represents to me is wisdom. You know, she looks at me like a, this, like, like the spirit of wisdom, you know, of nature, of truth non-bias well maybe a little bias what has mankind shown she sees right through the ego she's my spirit guide i guess you could say a spirit animal if there's such a thing she speaks to me in truth and reminds me that greater is the one that lives within me than the one that dwells within my ego in this physical plane and this is a journey journey up the mountain which is life right and remembering that i am strong i haven't quit or i have even but i keep going i am victorious because all things are possible to those who have faith and i have faith i'm doing I am clear with my decisions and I am ready to create, manifest, and have joy. Uh, that's an affirmation that is an affirmative. Like, and here's the, here's the truth, folks. Right now, I'm actually looking at this board and going, yeah, I am infinite abundance. It's a reminder that I am Kate the Great, child of the great I am. That literally means that it's all affirming. It's all affirming. I could not, the only time I'm not Kate the Gray in respects to, I don't know, the ego standards is, is when it tells me I have to earn some kind of like, you know, graduation present in order to receive the gift of life, the gift of God, the gift of all that I am, the I am, the great I am. I know it's kind of deep, but it's, it's deep calling deep, man, you know? So this is my truth, my example. So I'm taking some time off so I can become more familiar with who I am. <laughs>